What's up you guys, Kilianchu here and today we have another special guest. Her name is Claire Jedrick. She's the only Singaporean female race car driver. She's really cool and really sporty and also a foodie. She's gonna cook up some amazing English breakfast and her mom's gonna come and bring over Cantonese pork rib lotus soup. So I'm so excited. We're gonna have a feast for breakfast and let's go to her house right now. to meet auntie and uncle and the two kids. kids and the big kids you want to play with them yes I'm dead. <laughs> go We just arrived here at Claire's house and she's currently preparing Hi. the stuff for Hello. what are we gonna have for breakfast? We are having eggs, sausages, we've got toast here. I'm gonna add on like spinach as well. So I've modified from when we were kids. We used to have like bacon and like fried tomato. I've modified it slightly because um I think you have to go with the times and be slightly more healthier. That's true. We've got like baked beans and stuff as well. I got this, but I haven't tried it. But it's low in fat and low in sugar, so we'll see. Because usually that means it's not tasty. <laughs> Might have to use like salt and, <laughs> and pepper for that. Oh, there's my cat. Okay. Oh, this is the special guest here. Hey, Grandpa. What's your name? for a little scratchy scratch. She's quite an anxious cat. Um, actually, you know what? I'll feed you. Are you hungry, Grandpa? But what I'm gonna do is I'll still do the old school style. I'm gonna fry it with uh, good old butter, and for me, it's always salted. Always salted. So these are pork sausages. Yeah, these are these pork sausages. Sometimes when I have kids over. I'll do like chicken sausages and stuff. But um, yeah, we tend to buy like a lot of the chipolatas. So I'm just gonna let that heat up for a bit first, actually. These take a little bit longer, obviously, because usually I get chipolatas, and it's quite easy to flip them and get like an even consistency quite fast. Like some people take a lot of finesse in, in, in how they cook, but to me it's a fry up. So. It's a fry up. Yeah. So I'm just gonna dump all this stuff. Yeah, my parents usually have always bought like the English Cumberlands and I think these ones are a bit sweeter. I think my dad really likes the traditional ones because actually a lot of the times the sausages, they actually have a lot of flavoring inside there. This one is the pork and honey sausages. So generally I'll see like what the flavors are in the main, like the main heavier bits. And then I leave out the salt and everything else in like my, my like vegetables when I do spinach and stuff like this. On a daily basis, do you usually eat breakfast? Yeah, I do. So I'm either having wheat bits, toasted muesli, I have fruits, I usually have like a stack of bananas here. If I grab out, I'll have like maybe a piece of toast or something. And then when the whole family's together, because I love cooking, I generally love to cook. Um, but I also like fuss free cooking. Mm -hmm. um, and depending on the occasion, then I might mm -hmm. go like a little bit extra. For this, I'm just gonna put it on lower because I don't want to burn it out. I remember as a kid, my mom would just chuck them on there and they'd always be like quite crispy. But I think because these are a little bit fatter than chipolatas, I'm gonna put it on lower heat and just let it sit there. I've realized a lot of the times it's, it's a lot better for getting the heat around the top as well, having the lid on top. I actually am quite picky about my eggs. This is barn laid, but I like having the ones that like they can run around and I tend to, yeah, and I tend to buy them from like New Zealand. The yolks that like, they're like thicker, really dark yellow. Wow. And um, I, I love it. I'm gonna go put in eight. Cause what I do is I put in a bit of a, a thickener as well. What I do is I, I like to add the cream a little bit later. Oh, and one thing that we always have, like it's in like a tradition, is having like a good English breakfast tea wow. with it. Um, we have like a pot, and for some reason, we just always had that. It's a very English thing, having the tea. So it's like tea more than coffee. In the morning. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, I, I like my coffee, but when it comes to like having breakfast, it's just we have to put tea. I don't actually. I'm a very aga aga person. So. Scrambled egg, you have to do it fresh. I'm quite particular, so Yui loves coffee beans. 
like some of the coffee bean stuff and I don't like it. I find it's the most average breakfast, but he loves it. I think because the way it turns out, I think they put it into some kind of bag and they put it in water. I know that's one style of doing the egg, but I like it's awful because it comes out sometimes. You get it a lot at hotels, they do that, mm -hmm. where it's like really sloppy. I don't like it super sloppy. It's, it's funny, now that I talk about it and I'm talking my through, I'm like, maybe I am fussy. My kids love sausages. Like, like Ollie will have sausage. He wants sausage and pasta and everything, but he'll just eat the sausage. But that's why I want to get sometimes better sausages. I just don't want the tin stuff. I mean, they're great when you're a kid, like they're amazing. But like, yeah, I mean, now as an adult, and I think because I don't put too much salt in everything, then when I taste stuff, I'm like, whoa! Way too salty. <laughs> yeah, way too salty. Uh, I'm gonna make some bunch of fried bread. No salt, no sugar, but lots of butter. <laughs> to be fair, we've actually cut down. Me and my husband are terrible at the butter thing. Like, it's just, yeah, I'm like, sorry, I can't be a friend if you do uh, unsalted. But is there a specific cuisine that you always cook? I would say it's probably Western. I actually don't use a lot of um, soy sauce and stuff like that because it's so salty. If I do use a splash, I always like Japanese teriyaki sauce. But I try and use the flavors of the herbs and the um, and like garlic and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I try and use that more to flavor it. But we eat pretty plain, I would say. Like if I do vegetables, I steam all the vegetables. It's like I try and not use too much of like tomato-based sauce and stuff because it's like, a lot of sugar. I like pesto, like pesto in everything. the first time I made a cheese toast and I spit so much cheese and he was like, open up a fork and knife. I'm like, <laughs> who eats toast with fork and knife? For me, it's about getting oily. Yeah. And like, you know, but like, yeah, for him, it's like, I think, I suppose it's gone better because we have kids and they eat and they touch everything. So you can see there's a lot of like glass and reflective stuff. So you see fingerprints like all <laughs> over here, like. <laughs> Wait, does your husband, did he grow, grow up here? Or no, not? he grew up in Australia. So he oh, grew up near age of like two or three in Adelaide. So he's got a very much Western palate sense, and he's super easy. Like he could eat sandwiches all day. Like he's not the sort. It's like I need like rice and noodles in the morning. But he did. He had to come back here for army. Mm -hmm. So he it was in a situation where we used to drive up to Malaysia. He can stomach noodles mm -hmm. and like curry in the morning, whereas I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I need toast and eggs. I just need like bread and butter. Okay. That's it. Just okay. like a bread and butter. Bit, and I'm just gonna wait for this to cool down a bit because this pan was super hot just now. Okay. Thanks, Ryan. So how do you cook your scrambled egg? I dump it on like this and I just keep mixing it up. I'm just making sure. I don't like to do it super, super wet because um, I, do, I do like kind of fluffy-ish. I don't do the full-on fluffy. But to be honest, my eyes are bigger than my stomach because I always love putting so much on there and I end up getting so full fast. Especially when you eat slowly? I, I don't or eat slowly. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Talking to the wrong person. <laughs> Maybe it's in my head, but I trust having an English tea from Marks and Spencer's. It probably wasn't even packed or made ever. When you pick your spinach, it has to be triple washed and <laughs> ready. It makes it a little bit more convenient. I hate, I it's, it's such a pain having to wash this and then get wet and then blah blah blah. Yes. Did you guys have breakfast? 
no, we no, don't. No, not yet. Okay, perfect. Um, breakfast. <laughs> Everyone's just waiting for me. <laughs> so much pressure. You ready for breakfast? <laughs> Look, come on. You're not an Asian auntie if you don't have this tap water, man. Come on, man. <laughs> So, what have we got? Lotus? This lotus uh, roots. One of the most weirdest, tastiest, but yes. I think most useless roots. This is typical Cantonese, and you have... Uh, red dates, is it? Red dates, and then the, these are uh, goji berries. What have you got? Oh, you've got some oysters? Yeah, these are some oysters here, dry, dry oysters. Yeah, you need uh, spare ribs. So this is a, it's Cantonese, right? Like Cantonese, yeah. Cantonese. Dry squid. Oh. These are all the ingredients in there. And you need the pork spare rib. Just for like the base. Yeah, and these are the items in there. But these, these, you, don't, these you don't really eat. I remember when I was pregnant, you always have no, this. No, because you need that to balance. There's the yin and the yang. Is it like the heaty and the cool? Heaty, yeah. yeah. And, they, I mean, if you smell it. Oh, that smells really good. Like it definitely because of the berries and stuff. It reminds me of like yeah, all, my pre all my pregnancy like soups. Yeah, it's called lotus soup. How long did you? I boil it. Yeah, how long did you uh, boil it? So uh, what time did you start at? Uh, well, if it's very slow, three hours. That's not that long. It's just in a regular pot, right? Yeah, regular pot. Nothing special. You put the berries on top. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't trust me in my cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm 38. Japanese soya sauce are the best. Very umami. Yeah, you know, I only learned what that term was. I was like, what is this? Exactly. So my this, friend, so my friend. This, this soup is like umami. So okay, well, very... umami is just a type, like a flavor, right? Like yeah. a, a, a feeling, isn't it? Is that what it is? It's like the fifth flavor. sense of taste. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get that. Actually, you can get it from mushroom. Oh, that's it. what it is. Like that yes. kind of. I definitely feel like as I go and order, I'm embracing like my Asian, my Asian roots. Even like the desserts and stuff. When I first came here, like all that red bean paste and green bean, I'm like, this is like gross. But as I go and order, I actually really love it, and I love like going to like Chinese restaurants and having like your double boiled like um, black chicken soups, and I just I, I really enjoy it. Like it just it's so good. So I'm actually gonna have, I mean, it's pretty unusual having the soup as well together, but like, we just wanna showcase the other things that I suppose like we have at home and like the Cantonese slash like, yeah, um, English background. So I'm just gonna drink it straight out. Mm, that's really good. It is really nice. Three hours. It's very Nothing. mild in taste, but the umami is so there. So that, that's what the umami thing is that you're talking about, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I always have to have my egg on the toast. Like okay. it has to be on the toast. And usually after that as well, it's like baked beans. This way is continental way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try your way. So remember I told you I like texture, so like I mix everything. But the sausage I eat alone. So yeah, you can taste these are quite sweet. My dad was saying just now, in UK they tend to put breadcrumbs inside, inside like the, the sausage because so, this is actually quite dense this one yeah. but i wonder is that because of the honey we used to have a neighbor who's a butcher because i was I, like i was saying i was like how do you know all this information about what goes into sausage some past life i remember them making it where they do the stuffing mm -hmm. and then they'd have like the it, like it's pig intestines isn't it and they like it comes out from the machine mm -hmm. and the sausages and they twist it but yeah well <clears throat> Mm. Yeah, so if I don't put salt, usually having the baked beans on top of the eggs, it's like it's salty enough. And having the cheese, mm. it gives yeah. it saltiness. We never used to put cheese as a kid. We always used to put like butter and stuff. Or we do like sunny side up, fried. Mm. Cheese is a big part of our life. I mean, what kid doesn't like cheese? Actually, I have a cousin. She's half French. She doesn't eat cheese. And I'm like, that what? is so weird. The eggs are very creamy and the toast, mm. crispy. <clears throat> Love it. Yeah, like I said, because it's sourdough, it, it's more dense than usual. I tend to also spend a little bit more on fresh bread, so I wouldn't go and buy your gardenias and stuff like this. Like, there's mm. nothing wrong with them, but they have a lot more sugar. If I left it in there for two weeks, mm -hmm. it doesn't change color. It just sits there. Whereas, in, at least I know my food, like even though it goes moldy mm. easier, at least mm -hmm. I know there's, like, it's, there's better ingredients inside it. Less salt, less sugar. That's right. I just get a bit worried because it is always so sweet. Oh. Mm. 
I hide all the green stuff. I chop everything really finely and put it inside. Whereas in my daughter, she'll eat everything. She likes steamed ladyfinger. Is that a Filipino thing? Whoa. Yeah. Wait, is Pangasinan in a place? Yeah, yeah, it's a city. So, oh, it's a city? Okay, they're from more rural. The more mm -hmm, kampong, correct. they give her steamed. She just eats the steam. yeah. she's steamed. Steamed or boiled, yeah. Yeah, she's really good. She just eats everything. She wow. eats everything. Like, she's really... I don't have to hide anything. <laughs> As in my son, I don't know how and I don't know why, but like, I love broccoli. But then he'll like, be over the top and then like, he'll do it because everybody's watching. Mm -hmm. And because maybe we say like, Charlie eats it. So he'll be like, <laughs> yeah, I love it too. And sometimes he goes like, and I'm like, that is so dramatic. But it depends, like sometimes he loves it, sometimes he doesn't, you know? But usually with the okra, either with steam or boil, mm. we eat it with um, shrimp paste, like sambal. Okay, I'm not like particular, as long as if they don't eat their vegetables, then I make sure that they have their fruits. Oh, yeah, so yeah, luckily yeah. my son likes fruit, like he likes peaches and plums. Mm -hmm. I don't know the girls, Lynn and Anne, I think they can always eat rice. That rice or, or you say fried chicken? One of them likes fried chicken. Anything with rice, even noodles we eat with rice. <laughs> I actually want them to teach them like more like Filipino because like, we all say goodbye like the whole we're like I love you, what I need, mahakita. <laughs> like she'll say like the whole list like super cute. The sausage that you used, it's like more sweet than the It's a salty. bit more sweeter, right? But it's not really salty, you know. It's no, just, it's not. It's just... So this is a honey flavor. And I like that you cook the spinach really quick. And I can still feel the texture. Exactly right, yeah. Mm. What's your idea usually like of a fry up? Did you know what when I said fry up? I guess in your head you have an idea what a fry up is? As long as when you said it's British or English, I just thought about English breakfast. Mm. Oh, so you did think in your head would Yeah, because it's typical like when we go to cafes like in the Philippines. Western breakfast. If you see a lot of restaurants mm. cafes, they don't say English mm -hmm. breakfast. It's not like a full English, they always say full American. Which is like hash browns, mm. do mushrooms, and you do like there's a lot of added mm. extra things on there. And then toma tomatoes, uh, mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. So we grew up, we always had like tomatoes, but I'm I'm actually quite picky now with my tomatoes. I like to go and buy the ones on the vine because it just tastes different. Um, actually, and it's a bit more expensive, but yeah, it, it is. It tastes different. If you can different. find like and sauce, you do pay more, but they just yeah, it tastes my. they just taste better. Still very juicy, mm. and I like the color. Vine tomatoes are really like. Bread. Tea with just milk. Usually with sugar. Actually, I don't. For Filipinos, we usually drink the three-in-one oh, sachet, packet. the packets. The, to be honest, those are my the sugar. Those are my favorite. Like when I'm tired, I love packet coffee. Like <laughs> I don't like sour coffee, like the acid coffee. Acid. Yeah. Some okay. people like that when the shot stuff. I'm like, Whoa. so you like the more chocolatey. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Coffee. But on the hindsight. I love my packet three in one. There's something about that powdered cream. Stuff. It's very like you know. It's and it's when it's sweet. It's weird because <laughs> in my daily life I don't have a lot of sugar. Whenever you crave for it, you just gotta have it. I just grab like there's an S cafe or you have. I know there's like White Town. So I've got to say I do like fresh ground coffee, but it's just so much effort. I get the ones that are being ground and you you rip it open and then you mm. drip it because they're not so. So sometimes in Basha they have it. The only thing I have a problem is with packaging. I accidentally bought organic sweet potato. I don't buy a lot of things organic, only certain things. On the package here, this is 100% plastic free paper tray. <laughs> Look at this, it's wrapped in plastic though. So I mean, it's weird. Because it says choose sends in for a healthier planet. And like, it's great, up to 70% oh, yeah. plastic waste is reduced, replacing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the only thing is you can't change this. And during COVID, it's hard. People wrap everything yeah. now. And Singapore's great though because they're having all the vertical like hydroponic stuff where they grow mm. upwards because we can't grow outwards. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a lot more of that coming along. The the new high-tech farms, right? Yeah. There are a lot more companies now where you can buy like boxes of food. For my kind of cooking, I don't super plan. I just make sure that I have a lot of vegetables if I'm not like working out of like protein. But what type of protein do you pick? I'm personally not huge on red meat, like um, mm. just because I have a really bad digestion system. Something I've learned over many years. It's real. I've got a what they call a lazy gut. So things mm. like even sausages, like barbecues and stuff, it's it's too much for me. I'll minimize it. So lots of chicken, lots of fish mostly. Mm. So I do a lot of salmon. Yeah, I do prawns, but I don't actually buy a lot of that. I'd rather eat it outside. My husband doesn't do seafood. He's like the worst Asian ever. <laughs> Like, also because I think it's messy. And he eats with fork and knife. Yeah, he does. Because he doesn't like, he doesn't like dirtying like the hands. Which, you know, I kind of get after. 
All right, so that's it for today's video. Thank you again, Claire, for yeah. having us. Welcome. It's our first English breakfast in a in an English home, so English Cantonese home. Yeah, I know so, it's like a modified English breakfast. <laughs> yeah, we we really enjoyed the sausage, the scrambled eggs, the, the toast, everything, and with the tea. Wait, what's your favorite out know. of it? Uh, my favorite is the entire thing, like eating it all together. Like you, I love textures and layers. You know, it's like a cozy Saturday morning yeah. with the family, home cooked food by you. So, again, thank you. And you can subscribe to Claire on Instagram. That's right, at Claire Jedrick, J E D R E K. And we'll see you on the next episode. Claire and Justin are gonna be eating Filipino polutan with Filipino beer, so stay tuned. See you in Singapore. He changes. PJ Mask with PJ Mask goes in a time. Oh, he does a time to fuck around.